The year is 1994. Los Angeles experiences one of the largest blackouts, and during this blackout, all of LA's lights were off. Suddenly, people's eyes turned to the night sky, and they noticed a grey and blue blob hanging there in the night sky. Many people called American Emergency Services, failing to notice that the grey and blue blob is just the Milky Way galaxy, the galaxy we're a part of. They were viewing it for the first time. Most of you watching this video are probably living in a city, places where it's difficult to see the night sky. The Milky Way galaxy, as well as all the stars and all the constellations we know, are slowly disappearing, and it's only going to get worse over time. For quite some time, as the world is constantly industrializing, we have seen the introduction of more and more streetlights in and throughout our community. Streetlights have the obvious benefit of letting us see in the dark, but the unwanted side effect is that a lot of this light ends up flooding the night sky. This is the definition of light pollution, a phenomenon by which light caused by humans impedes our view of the night sky. To put it simply, the flooded light from streetlights and other sources makes its way into the atmosphere, lighting it up. If the atmosphere brightens past a certain point because of this streetlight, then some of the stars will not be visible, as the atmosphere is too bright relative to those stars. Because we are adding more and more light pollution, more and more streetlights, the atmosphere is getting brighter and brighter during the night, and as such, more and more stars are becoming invisible. Another problem that is causing our night sky to disappear is the rise of air pollution. Particles in the air that contribute to air pollution help scatter light from distant stars and galaxies, and this scattering prevents us from seeing these stars and objects as pinpoints of light. In other words, if you pair light pollution with air pollution, you can sort of get the picture of why it's so difficult to see the night sky. And this light pollution is not just in the spectrum of light we can see, optical light. It's happening across the entire electromagnetic spectrum of light, from radio waves to in some cases x-rays. For example, through the increased use of 4G networks, air-to-air -air communication, and even electric fences, radio telescopes are having difficulty observing faint radio signals from space. Satellites also play a problem in observations as well, as they hinder our view of the night sky. Because satellites are super reflective, light from the sun that hits these satellites are sometimes reflected into our telescopes, making it impossible to see anything and sometimes even ruining the data entirely. Light pollution is just one of the many problems that we are unconsciously causing on this planet with other problems being rapid global warming, air pollution, plastic pollution, and much more. And astronomy was one of the first sciences, and this science is still very useful for us as it still has applications here back on Earth and also in space. If no one can see the night sky, then the natural question most people are going to ask is, why should we study it? And maybe this will be our children in the future asking this very question when we ourselves still have the fortune of seeing something. And remember, this problem didn't just start a couple of years ago. This has been a problem for the last few decades. It's precisely why Los Angeles residents in 1994, most of whom were 30 year olds, were so terrified at the Milky Way galaxy. And it's the simple reason that they hadn't seen it before due to the sheer amount of light pollution present there. So, what's the solution? Many companies are on the race to develop street lights that minimize the amount of light being leaked into the atmosphere through the use of LEDs and other technologies. SpaceX has been working on new coatings to combat the role satellites play in light pollution, while independent research organizations are setting rules around their astronomical facilities to minimize the amount of light pollution. But more than that is just required, as people need to be exposed to this fact instead of staying ignorant to the sad reality. Websites such as lightpollutionmap.info help people from across the world understand how much light pollution they are experiencing, and as you can see, the worst pollution is in cities. For now, it seems that we might have to persist with this problem for just a little more.